Vamos. Hi guys and welcome back to the ZZ Mill show. Obviously I'm ZZ and this is the guy that got dragged on the internet the other day because he decided to rap in Yoruba. We have, uh, you can smile, I know, actually I don't know if I should, it's up to you if you want to smile but be, to I would be yeah, able to just not smiling because people might take it the wrong way about you smiling but it's Glitz, Glitz? Glitz. Glitz. How old are you? 25. 25? Just 25. Oh, okay, right. Um, where are you from? Um, in and around North London, I've lived in a different, lot of different places. And what's your background? Like, where your family from? Um, I'm Dutch and Irish. Oh, okay. Right, nice. So a lot of people are probably going to say to me, <coughs> why um, have I given you a platform? I shouldn't have given you a platform. And I think a part of me was thinking, mm, should I give him a plat? Should I do this? Am I giving him uh, more limelight or more coverage? And then I thought to myself, well, to be fair, uh, you've already got a million views. Well, your freestyle went to a million views on Twitter. Um, so a million people have already seen it anyway or aware of you anyway. And I do actually think it's important to have these discussions, uh, especially with what's going on at the moment with the whole like Black Lives Matter and a lot of black people feeling like uh, white people are coming into our space and culturally appropriating us music culture um, so i thought why not have a conversation so obviously what happened was you released a freestyle mm -hmm. if i'm correct this was your second freestyle that you've released um i've done a few on instagram okay but it was like yeah it was like the main main yeah second basically yeah. it was all going great um you dropped some Eurobuy in there everyone went crazy it got shared loads um and then the next was it like literally the next morning literally the next morning yeah. next morning somebody dug out some old tweets mm -hmm. of yours which was fitting this new trend what a new trend what an old trend of like black women literally being dragged mm -hmm. being called ugly being to be f made to feel less than or like we're not worthy we're not beautiful um and you kind of well not kind of you were a part of this time when you joined in mm -hmm. Uh, explain to me because what happens is when all these old tweets come out a lot of people say oh at the time well I don't think you said it but a lot of times people say oh that was kind of the culture of Twitter mm -hmm. you know everyone was getting at black women it was just fun to do like it was banks it was just a time period so explain to me what that time period was <clears throat> no, I definitely think you touched on it. I think, obviously, it was wrong, but I think there was there was definitely a a culture and a general attitude on Twitter at that time that was and a narrative that was very anti-black woman. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, I was in that black Twitter space at the time, and I I fed into it really. I was I guess I was just trying to I was trying to fit in whatever. I was just running jokes, trying to get clout. Obviously, it was the wrong thing to do, and it's disgusting. But I was—I think I was just—you know—I just—I joined in with that whole, that whole attitude at the time on Twitter. So what I will say, um, we gathered that you said it's disgusting. What I don't want is for the whole interview to yeah, every yeah, time okay. say it's disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that you feel it's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Like we get it, but I just feel like black women especially us we've heard it loads of times it's disgusting we're sorry and it's like okay great let's just get to the bottom yeah, as yeah, to yeah. why everybody thinks it's okay to kind of do this to us do you get what i mean so has your circle always been black yeah. boys and black women mm -hmm. um and you said in the statement that you released that um you know you was around a lot of black people and they kind of made you feel comfortable so are you almost like blaming black people for no. say for making you feel comfortable and they allowed you to do it? No, because even in the statement, I didn't say anyone made me feel comfortable. I just said I felt way too comfortable. Like, but surely that's to do with your environment, though. Yeah, potentially, potentially. But I wouldn't ever blame anyone else for what I had done. What I had done was what I had done. Nobody held my hand. Nobody made me do it. Definitely, though, I definitely did feel like I was... I was way too comfortable in that space. And I guess, because the thing is, I've spoke to all my friends, I've spoke to a lot of people around me about this since it happened. Mm. And a lot of people have said the same thing to me, where it's like, 
you know, we just kind of, we didn't see you any different to us. And I think for me as well, I didn't really see myself any different to them. But obviously now, where I'm a bit older and, you know, I've grown up a bit more and I've matured, I obviously understand that I'm, my life and, you know, the opportunities, the privilege, whatever I have is obviously very different to my friends and the people around me. Uh, so why, why didn't you see yourself different from them? Okay. Even though your, your skin colour is different. Like, you look like a white guy. You don't yeah, look yeah. like you're mixed or anything. Mm -hmm. with, so what was... What made you feel so comfortable with, like, in the culture? Because it's, it's just what I knew, innit? It's what was, I was around, it's what I was surrounded by. Um, and it was just how I was treated. I wasn't treated by my friends or anyone around me any different to anyone else. It's just what, I, it's just what it was. Do you think that, um, as black people, we have a responsibility to, you know, we might have white friends, mm -hmm. but do you think we have a responsibility as a people to make sure that we don't, we don't allow white people to become over familiar with us um, or is that your responsibility i think i think it is in this day and age especially it's definitely a white person's responsibility to know their place i don't think you need to be told by anyone else what your place is you should know really so um you released the you released the uh, freestyle mm -hmm. and you decided to drop a couple bars in yoruba Somebody told T.Y. Savage I don't speak a language But I know I'm Yoruba if I have to Or more gain it below my pussy That pussy man fuck you ever had you We got hay fever for a snitch If my eyes start to itch we soon coming at you Didn't wanna go all but I had to A million packs got sealed with a vacuum Why? Mm. Cause you said you're, you're Dutch right? And Irish Yeah, yeah, yeah So yeah. why didn't you use some like old time English language? Um, or where, you're, where your family's from? Why yeah. did you feel the need to use Yoruba? Obviously, I'm around a lot of Nigerian people. I basically kind of grew up in a Nigerian house as well. It's just what I know. Like, it's just... How, why? What do you mean, why? Why did well, you grow up in a Nigerian house? Um, because, obviously, my closest friend, Dre Six, who I obviously make music with as well. I basically, okay. I kind of grew up in his house. Like, I was in his house every day. Okay. So, it's just what I know. And to be fair, even when I'd done that, I honestly didn't think it was going to go crazy. Because I literally said, like, one line. It wasn't even a full bar. Did a part of you think, if I, if I do this, I know my target audience are going to get gassed by this and let me... Was there a part of you that thought, if I do this, I'm going to be deemed as cool? No, 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 no. So I then why... So. That's what I'm saying. Why would you choose to use Yoruba and not where your, where your heritage is from? I just thought it sounded good. I liked the language. I thought it's the way I wrote it, I thought it sounded so nice. So you don't like where you're from? No, you I don't like, like the language from... enough to use it in your... To I use mean, it. I don't know my, the Dutch side of my family at all. I just know that I'm Dutch, but... Of course, I like, you know, I like where I'm from, but um, it's just what, that's just what I was around all the time. And I just thought it sounded nice. So you've done a few um, uh, songs before, mm -hmm. uh, freestyles, mm -hmm. and um, have you had interest from record labels? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. So not you, now. Not now, mm -mm. it's all gone. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, they've gone quiet, they've definitely gone quiet on me. Do you, even that in itself, do you understand the, the the white privilege that you have that you've literally brought out maybe one two a couple songs freestyles at that like not actual full length songs um, and you already had interest from record labels so do you understand how frustrating that is to maybe other rappers who are like grafting in the studio doing whatever and then you come along and you just basically do do you feel like you as a white person have any sort of responsibility to say do you know what i i shouldn't be allowed to access this culture or get a record deal that easily i 100 percent, 100 percent know that i as a white person in a black space making black music definitely have a privilege 100 percent. like you said like i've literally made three or four freestyles on instagram and probably after the second or third one, the labels were starting to, to show some interest. But, and it's, it, it, I think you said it just before as well, just before this started, that like, um, if I was a black boy and I did that freestyle and I said the exact same thing in the exact same way, it probably, almost definitely, probably wouldn't have gone off the way it did. Absolutely not. And I know, and a hundred percent, I know that I have that privilege in a white space, especially like the, how I look. I don't look like how I speak. I don't look like, the things that I talk about or rap about, I'm six foot six with a, a bunch of white people, um, a bunch of black people around me in a black space. So it's like, I think labels probably look at me and think we could, we could push him to the masses quicker than somebody else. And it's, 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 it's something that I, I recognize 100%. Do you think that you're a sellout? 
A sellout. Yeah, so if I was, if a black person decided to do white music, Mm -hmm. like folk music or heavy metal, Mm -hmm. indie, Mm -hmm. black people would probably call them a sellout. Mm. So do you feel like, because you're not sticking to like, quote unquote, like white music or Mm -hmm. rock music or indie music, what we know white people to do, Mm -hmm. would you class yourself as a sellout then to your culture? No, I don't think so because I'm true to myself. I just, I'm who I am. Like the people I'm around are the people I'm around. But you're not black though. Uh, of course not. But so then you, 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 who, are, who you are is you're a white male. Mm-hmm. And what you, um, you seem to like identify with is black culture. Mm. So that's not who you are. You are a white male. I, 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 don't, I don't want to say I identify as, I don't identify with black culture. I, I am who I am. I'm a white person. Mm. But the space I'm in, the people I'm friends with, it's just who I am. Like if a black person made rock music but their whole life they grew up around white people making rock music it's kind of inevitable for me if i went and made the difference is a black person would get like rubbish for that Mm -hmm. whereas you were until my thing is is like and if if the old tweets didn't come out Mm -hmm. then would you be like oh i understand my white privilege or would you just kind of go with the flow and be like you know what it is what it is um i can bring everyone along but no 100 like <clears throat> that's the thing as well, just because this came out, it's not like this, this, those tweets came out and now all of a sudden I'm like, I understand my white privilege and like, th- this is how I've been for, for a while. Like, this is, I, I know all of this stuff and it's how, the way I've been acting and the things I've been saying as of recent for the last however many years, but prior to those tweets coming out are who I am. It's just now, obviously, because this has happened now, I have to, I have to speak about it a lot more. So you said that all the, rec- the record labels have gone quiet. Do you actually think you're going to be cancelled? Um, I don't know. I don't even really know what cancelled means. I'm not going to stop making music. Whether I, I think 100% I'm probably... I'm going to have people that hate me, mm. period. Now, from now on, like, whatever I do, I can tweet hello. I'm going to have people that hate me, and understandably, but I can't... I'm not going to stop what I love doing just based on that. So have you been on socials since this all happened? Mm-mm. No. Why? I noticed that on your um, apology. Did you write the apology yourself? Yeah. Um, that you turn off the comments. Mm-hmm. Why? Because um, someone told me that they were they were going crazy in the comments, getting at me. And but then, so you you turned your comments off to protect yourself. Yeah, because it's obviously. But why should you be protected though? Why should you get to be protected when you've literally just, you rubbished like black women mm. and made black women feel shit? Why should you now get to protect your feelings nobody, when no one's protecting our feelings? Nobody, I don't, nobody else owes me anything, but what I can control, like I'm, listen, of course, people have the right to say what they say to me, 100%, like, and, but the, but the, the point is that I'm still a human being. I don't wanna go, every time I go on my Instagram, I don't wanna see, 700 people saying thing, not, like, not nice things about me. Like, that's just human behavior. Anyone would do that. But I, nobody else owes me anything, but I'm gonna control what I can control. So if I can turn off my comments and not see people going crazy at me all day, every day, then I will. So what are you, what's your next plans? I'm gonna keep making music. And what's your next track gonna be? Is it gonna be like an apology or is it just gonna go back to normal? I'm definitely gonna address it. I definitely, I'm, whether it's like, out and out apology. I feel like I, I wrote what I wrote and I put it out. I'm definitely going to address it again. <sighs> See, so my thing with the tweets is I couldn't actually, I couldn't actually understand if you disliked black women at the time or if you were fetishizing black women. Because one of your tweets was, lick out a black girl and wake up with a pink eye. This girl is so black. L-O with o, loads of O's and then an L. This is why I'm reluctant to marry a black girl. And then the one that you quote tweeted was clap black girls, fucking hell, whatever. Then you tweeted mixed race babies soon come. So which is it? Are you fetishizing black women or do you not like black women? Like which one is it? It's not fetishizing. I've always, it's crazy because even then I still did like black girls. But was it a certain type of black girl? 
No, because no, we, that's no. another thing that we see in the black community, which I guess if you hang around a lot of black males, that could have been another thing that they was kind of pushing onto you, which is darker skinned women are not deemed as beautiful within the black community. So you can say you like black women, but is it a certain type of black woman that you like? No, no, I, I like, you see what it is? And I, there's, there's probably tweets that you can find as well where I say, like, I like all, I like girls of any race. Like that, that whole period where I was tweeting that crazy stuff, it was nothing more than me joining in on jokes which shouldn't have been made, period, by anyone, but especially as a white person. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have made them, of course not. Um, I was just joining in on, on some dumb shit that I shouldn't have. I You're uh, good friends with Juan Asen. Yeah, he's my friend still, yeah. And he defended you. Mm -hmm. Do you not think that he shouldn't have defended you publicly? Because it looks like he's agreeing with what you're doing or what you said in the past. I get he's your pal, mm -hmm. but in my opinion, just stay quiet in it. If you don't want to, but to, to, to defend you, it's almost like, well, fuck black women. I'm going to defend my pal. Mm. So you as a friend, did you say, I get what you, like you want to defend me, but I suggest maybe that you don't. And then you release a song together, right? Yeah, we, we had that song planned for a long time to come out on that day. But didn't you guys like read the room? No, and but think I, to yourself, actually, no, this doesn't make no sense. To be honest, at that point, I don't, I don't know much about that re the release of the song, so I can't talk much on that. I wasn't really involved in the release of the song. In terms of Aeson defending me, the first thing is that what he said in his video, he didn't defend what I said. Like, he, he said from the jump, like, I don't agree with anything that he said. He loves black women, all of that. He said all of that. But what he did say is that I'm not going to give up on my friend based on one mistake that he made because I know his heart. It's not really one mistake, it's like multiple tweets. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but so that's not one, like, I think that's the problem as well. Like, one tweet, I guess we might be able to be like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But if there's multiple tweets of the same type of genre of you coming at black women, mm -hmm. that's not one mistake. That's mm -hmm. multiple mistakes. Mm -hmm. That's, you've decided that this is funny and we are the butt of your joke. Do you get what I mean? So that's why a lot of people will be like, wait a minute, and some of them were seven years ago, some of them were eight years ago. So in that time frame, what has happened? Why ha ha has it changed? What's changed? I've, obviously, I've grown up a lot as a person. And the thing is, like, I've got a lot of uh, black females around me, generally, anyway. Like and I what said, did they I, say about when all these came, this came out? They, they pretty much all said the same thing to me. Like, they all said, obviously, they were shocked, firstly, by what they saw. They were upset by what they saw. But being people that know me, they all said they know me, they know my heart, they know the kind of person I am and obviously that, that doesn't reflect who I am as a person. They all said the same thing to me. Have you, got, have you got a girlfriend? Yeah, I do. So. What colour is she? She's black. How does she feel about this? Same way. She was obviously Did upset. she know that you had like, before this came out, did she know about tweets? No, no, did no. Did you she, even remember know. your I tweets? I had no idea. I had no idea. Even when I first saw them, I was like, this can't be me. Like, I, I, I thought they were photoshopped at first. but. No, I didn't know of them. She didn't know of them. My friends, nobody knew. Nobody knew that they existed. And does her family know about it? Um, no, I don't think so. I don't know. What does your family think about you and like um, your like music career and how does that work? My mum knows about it. My mum supports me, obviously. Um, obviously, this whole thing is that like, upset her a lot as well. But not, other than that, not a lot of my family know about what I do. What is it about black culture that you, as a white person, find so fascinating? Mm, I don't know if fascinating is the right word. Or you like it, or you like enjoy it. it, or what is it about it? What is it about black culture that you like? It's just what I know, like, it's what I've grown up with, like... There's, there's everything about black culture I like, and I, 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 I support, like, everything about it. Did you go to the protests? I wanted to, but I couldn't because I was about to promote the song with one Ace and he's high risk, so I couldn't because I was going to be around him a lot, so he asked me not to. But I 100% I was like, going to go if it wasn't for that. In your, um, your statement that you released, you said that... Um, you said that... This has been a huge lesson for me and I can only apologise, learn more and continue to be in support of black culture, black people and most importantly, black women. Well, how are you going to do that? Obviously, it's like, it's only been like a week since, since it happened. So 
for me to sit here and say like I've look at what I've done, it's hard. But you know, right now, all I can do is continue to do what I've done for the last however many years, which is use my voice where I can, use the platform that I don't really have yet, but ho hopefully one day I do have. Um, but that's not really supporting black people though, is it? If anything, you're using our culture to elevate your life and make it more comfortable. Mm. So that's not helping me as a black woman. That's not helping the black culture. Yeah. If anything, again, you know, there might be a black guy that could be more talented than you, but he's never going to get as far as you because he doesn't uh, appeal to the masses, like he said. Mm -hmm. So how is you making music, making money, helping me as a black woman? So should I just not make music? Well, but you, no, I'm, you can make music, but in your statement, you said you're going to continue to support. Yeah, but yeah. how is that supporting me as a black woman? But it's, not, it's not specifically me making music is going to su support black women. But yeah, when I'm able to build that platform where I do have a platform, I have a voice and I can speak on these issues and I influence people, people that listen to my music or, or like me can listen to what I say and I have a platform where I can speak on these things, then of course I'm going to use it. I use it now, but obviously I don't have, I don't have a mad reach, but... In my everyday life, like I support my friends, I support my family, I support people around me that are black. I do what I can, but you know, like what, what do you think I should do? I'm genuinely asking you a question, like what do you think I, I think could do? I think that your first 10 bags that you make mm -hmm. from your single or whatever you decide to release, you should mm -hmm. donate it to a charity that helps black women. Mm -hmm. Because I hear that. really, sorries, we've heard sorries, a lot yeah, of sorries, yeah, and it's a bit boring, mm -hmm. if I'm being honest with you. And when I saw your tweets, I just kind of rolled my eyes. Not because I was in support of it, it was because it was just like, here we go again. Mm -hmm. All that's going to happen is you're going to release a tweet. Nobody really in the industry, like, is going to write you off. Like, the record labels now might be a bit calm with you because they just know that they are probably reading the room that it would be the worst thing ever if they decided to continue going along. But... I don't think, I think within a couple of months time, you'll, you'll be fine. And to me, to me that, that's what's annoying. So you can say sorry, but then you can write an apology saying, oh, I'm going to support black women, but I don't know you. So you telling me that your friends and your family know your heart, I don't know your heart. Do you know what I mean? All I can see is a white guy that has decided to spit a few bars in Yoruba. Everyone got excited. And then some old tweets got dug up. And let's be honest, you're probably going to be fine. Do you get what I'm saying? So yeah, I hear you. I hear you. It's, it's, I think it's, um, it's just a cycle. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think people are just angry. And if I'm being honest with you, like I said, I don't necessarily think it's going to like, I don't think it's going to tarnish you. Not that I think that's a good thing, but I don't think it's going to uh, tarnish you or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. I think... Record labels probably will like you because you you're, uh, you appeal to the masses. What's next then? I'm gonna keep making music. Like I said, I might I might um, I might address it in like a song or a freestyle or something. Um, but the main the main thing is I'm gonna I'm gonna keep making music. I'm taking obviously I'm taking some time away from the internet right now just mm. because you know it's a lot it's, it's a lot right now. But, yeah, um, I can imagine. Yeah, but I'm I'm gonna keep making music. I have to I have to do what you know. What I have love you always doing. wanted to make music? 100%, yeah, 100%. I've always enjoyed making music. And you said you're, you said you're 26? 25. 25. 25, yeah. Do you think um, age has a part to play in it? Like, at um, the time, you was just like... I mean, I do... A part of me does think, like, this is eight years ago, so it's... You was how old? Like, 17? Yeah, 17. 17 is like... We're all young. Like, 17 is quite a young age still. Do you get what I mean? So a part of me does feel like, okay, he was young. Mm -hmm. He was doing what everyone else was doing, peer pressure, whatever you want to um, call it. Um, <clears throat> I think that age, age isn't an excuse, but yeah. it, it plays a factor. It plays a factor. It has to be because, you know, it's the reality of the situation, but it's not an excuse. It's, not, it's what I said I said, isn't it? So what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? What do I do? Yeah, like, apart from music. Now I make music. Oh, full-time? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what I do now. And like, did you, what did you study? Did you go to um, uni? Yeah, I went What did uni. you study at uni? Um, international relations, politics. Oh, really? Mm hmm Wow. Mm. So what do you think about what's going on now? Politics, wise? I don't, I don't really enjoy politics. You, you don't? That, after I went to uni, I didn't want to even look at it anymore because I just thought, it's crazy. I'm not interested in it. Me personally, I think that we do need more um, rappers and people in music that do know about politics mm -hmm. 
um, and that can maybe make it seem fun to young people because I think um, we're very good at entertainment and all of that stuff but when it comes to politics we don't really know that much about it so I mean I think that's quite cool that you did that. I definitely think even like at school politics should be taught from, from school same with English. Maths, so what made it? you want to get into politics then? Um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do to be honest I just I just picked it. Politics? Yeah I don't know I honestly don't know why I picked it. I, had, I, I just didn't know what I wanted to do. I was going to go to uni. I just thought, OK, I'll That's do that. That's mad. Most people, if, if most people that don't know what they want to do yet, they pick um, business management. But I'm good at writing. I'm good at oh, English, okay. history, stuff like that. I'm good at writing subjects. Oh, OK, right. Mm, so I just thought, you know. Have you got any kids? No. No? Mm -mm. I mean, I think, like I said, it's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. I think you'll be fine. I think you just lay low for a little while. Mm -hmm. Um... And I guess you won't be making that mistake again. Oh no. Have you checked all your tweets? I haven't been I mean, on Twitter. I mean, just in case anything else comes up, I would I recommend that. Yeah, maybe so. But I haven't, I haven't touched Twitter since that day. Are you scared to go back on Twitter? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 100%. I would be too. Yeah, I've heard that a few people have called me. I've tried to tell people, don't tell me what you see, but a few people have called me and told me, yo, they're eating you up, so. Still, today? I think so. I'm not sure, I don't know. I've told everyone, don't tell me, I don't want to know. But I think they might be, so I'm just going to keep off it for a while. I don't know if I'll ever go back on Twitter, if I'm honest. Really? Because mm, I'm going to have to at some point. You, well, you will have to when, when you're promoting your music, because Twitter is a good place. Did you, did you know that? Um, like, before that happened, was you really excited that you had... I was so excited. I was going crazy. I couldn't believe it. Because I honestly, like, even that Yoruba, a lot of people thought that I'd done that with the intention of going viral. Mm. I honestly didn't. I didn't even think that it would pick up like that but yeah it picked up it picked up like crazy quick oh of course i was excited a lot of people were hitting me up mm. you know and then the next day what happened happened i can't imagine how you must have felt boy because that crazy. is mate it was definitely i'm not even gonna lie to you it's the worst day of my life 100 percent, 100 percent. shit happens it happens exactly i mean thanks for coming in thank you for having and me. talking to me do you, what would you say to white people in black spaces? Um, I would say know your place, respect the culture you're a part of, um, and use the, whatever platform you have to push the culture you're participating in. And, and how, would you, how would you do that, though? It's like, the thing is, it's, it's difficult when you're where you are now, like, sorry, where I am now, where you don't really have too much to, to work with, mm. but you know, there's, there's, there's white rappers that are in, you know, good places where they have the resources, they have the platforms to, and I don't know what they do, but, you know, when you're at a point where you have the resource or the platform or anything that you, you can use to help the people that got you there, you should, of course. Do you ever feel guilty about being, like, about your white privilege? Definitely. Especially because you're around, like, a lot of other, like, other black boys that might mm -hmm. want to be rappers. 100%. Do you ever feel a part of you that's like, oh, man, like, he actually is better than me, but... Hunt, like, my, like, my closest friend that I, I rap with all the time, J6, he's a, a mad, talented guy, and I rap with him, mm. but it was me individually that went viral, and it's, it's me that individually that got approached by the labels. Yeah. And we, sp we speak about it all the time, like, we speak about it all the time, about we know this is because I'm white, that like, we know it, that it's not a, we're not hiding it from anyone, but of course I feel, you know, so do you feel like, does, does it make you feel like a gimmick? Because some, some black people say, I don't want to be, cho like, a lot with all that's going on now, some black people are saying, like, I don't want to be the token black person just mm -hmm. because you're picking me because I'm black. Mm -hmm. So then do you feel like, as a white person, I, I, I don't want to feel like a gimmick? I feel like the, the labels and stuff, they probably do see me a little bit like that. I know, I know I'm not a gimmick, I know I'm not, but I think 100% the, um, the labels and the industry probably do see it a little bit like, oh, it's this white guy that doesn't look like he should sound and, you know, he's, he'll have this mass appeal. 100%, I think that's what they think of me, but I know I'm not a gimmick. I know myself and I'm, I'm very firm and um, strong within myself. I know who I am. Okay. Well, all the best. Thank you. Even though I, what you've done was wrong, mm -hmm. make sure you look after yourself and your mental health because it's... Uh, like you said, that's the only thing that you really have. 
mm -hmm. in this world. So like whatever you have to do, if that's take a step back for a little while or whatever you feel, I would suggest that because it is, regardless of what I think, it is a lot for somebody to go through uh, on a scale like that as well. Mm -hmm. And the roller coaster must have been like up and down within in less than 24 hours. That's yeah, a lot mm -hmm. for anybody to um, deal with. It's life, isn't it? It's life. And everything has consequences. 100%. So, um, thank you. Thank you. You know what to do? Like, subscribe, tell your friend, tell your mom, and tell your dad. We out.